was only here once with a movie with Nick Nolte many years ago and uh, it was a lovely thing. It's a beautiful festival. It's a beautiful town. So when they asked me to be on the jury, president of the jury, I said, yes, of course, I'll do it. Yeah. I mean, I was speaking to the other members of the jury last night. Now, I don't do the festival circuit at all, really, but there are a whole range of films, mainly European movies, you know, that only exist on a festival circuit, you know, and become kind of renowned and become celebrated. So, you know, the more cinema going becomes monochrome or industrialized in a way, you know, the more, the more important festivals become, I think. Well, maybe there is a problem because, I mean, I suppose, I come from Ireland, every country has its film boards, doesn't it now? Every country has its uh, tax rebate system and its support system for films. And what happens is an enormous amount of movies are being made that people do not see. It's almost impossible to get financing for the kind of individual films I used to make, like The Crying Game or like Mona Lisa. What's difficult is getting the finance for a film. I mean, sh shooting a movie, constructing images is one of the most beautiful things, you know, really lovely. Um, that's probably what I like most of all. That's why I'm a filmmaker. That's, you know, that's why I started making movies, because of the pleasure of just looking through a camera and creating an image that has not been there before. I mean, I think that's the, the job of a filmmaker. You know, you see the light, you see the shade, you see the, the way the camera moves or doesn't move, you know, and your job is to realize that and make sure other people see it the way you see it, you know, and sometimes there are surprising accidents that happen from a performance of an actor or the light changes or, but the job is one of making images as far as I'm concerned, you know. That's why a lot of indie movies, you know, the kind of handheld ethic. I mean, I liked it when I saw it first, but it's beginning to annoy me because I can see there's a laziness too. I mean, I like the surrealist end of European filmmaking as well, of course I do. Roman Polanski, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, I just keep returning to his movies and there's a strange satisfaction to be had. Well, I mean, I've made three movies about the political violence in Ireland. Those three movies, Angel, The Crying Game, Michael Collins, are about, they're, they're my response to the country that I grew up in, you know, that's where basically the solution to p political problems was always pushed into some kind of violent encounter, a violent event, you know. And it was a deeply tragic thing, and the fact that it's over is amazing, and obviously Boris Johnson should be reminded of that fact. Hmm. It's very difficult for a movie to be to directly address a political situation because it takes it so long to be made. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people would disagree with me, but I, I'm not sure it's the best medium within which to address urgent political problems. You know, maybe the theatre, you know, maybe documentary, you know, but dramatic film. By the time it comes to address the subject, the subject is almost past. I would say it's very difficult to be a satirist these days, you know, because uh, it's partly to do with the, the kind of explosion of visual imagery through mass media, isn't it? You know, that you, like tweets and Mr. Orange Face, you know, kind of going around this plane and all that. It's just like, I would hate to be a political satirist at the moment because you could never match what is going on in reality. I mean, we live in the age of clowns, don't we? You know, it seems people elect a clown rather than a politician, you know, that's why Boris is there, that's why the Orban is in Hungary, that's why Salvini was in Italy, and that's why Trump is in, in the United States. It's the, it's the era, era of the clowns for some strange reason. You know? um, I could make a movie about that, but by the time I got to make it, hopefully that era would pass, do you know, do you understand what I mean? But I think it would have to be an absurdist comedy, you know, written by Eugene Ionesco perhaps, you know.